you've been very bullish on autonomy, yes. uh, vehicle autonomy of ETF all around it, mm -hmm. robotics and the like. What do you make of what's happened with Cruise? Yes. The shutdown of Cruise, at least the temporary suspension yeah. of it. Uh, Derek Hazrashahi, who runs Uber, was on the broadcast last week. Yeah. He said he doesn't think that autonomy, in terms of autonomous vehicles or robo taxis or the like, are a real thing for another five or ten years. Meaning, he, he's. And by the way, I think five or ten years ago he would have said five or ten years yeah. ago that was what you know. And, so and so, so would Elon. And, yes. And so and so here we are. Yes. So what have you changed your view about that? No. I mean, you must have because I imagine if we go get tape of a conversation that we all probably had five sure. or ten years ago. We probably said five or 20, ten years 22, from now. 22, 23, right. 24. We, we actually uh, delay ours by one year relative to Elon, so maybe it should be two years. But here's where we've learned how important Tesla's uh, proprietary data is. Uh, it's five million robots around the world. Cruise didn't have anything like that. It had hundreds. Five million robots around the world collect data every day and send it right. back to Tesla. Tesla has more corner cases, which means disengagements, accidents, uh, information like that, than all the other companies in the world combined. And I have to tell you, watching the breakthroughs in AI that we are seeing, they are astounding. The, the speed at which this is moving. Right. Uh, so it is interesting. I think it's a data issue. Autonomous taxi platforms uh, are the biggest AI project in the world, and therefore we think Tesla is the but you have sold, uh, you've sold Tesla shares, and it's, so, you know it used to be the number one holding, I believe, mm -hmm. in your in your ETF. It's now number three. You've sold yes. about twenty million shares. Yes. Why? So, um, well, whenever it goes up, it was up uh, about one hundred and fifty percent relative to our other names, many of which had not moved. So we will all, always um, uh, recycle that way, take profits and. Uh, I would also say, listening to Elon on the last conference call, he's very concerned about the economy, mm. as we are. Kathy, will, will, you, will I look outside five years from now and see GM and Ford EVs everywhere? It's very interesting to hear both of them pull back saying... But do you uh, think, I, 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 with this new issue. way, I, I think, I don't even know if we'll be talking about GM so and Ford in five years. What is interesting about the news that both of them are pulling back for profitability reasons, they can't be profitable in this space unless they scale. That's how this so it's works. It's a catch-22. So it's catch-22, and their shareholder base is very internal combustion engine oriented, and they want their profits now, and they want their dividends now. Uh, and they don't want that kind so of So how are they going to do it? Losses. Will they be able to? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, back to the Tesla question, as they are pulling away, I, our market share uh, expectations for Tesla go up. Right. You know? And so to answer the question, we sold as it was up 150% relative to everything else. We have not sold m much since then. And it will, all, it will, if we're right on this autonomous uh, taxi opportunity, it will remain in the top five in, right. in our fund, in our flagship.